Okay, we're here at Green River Lakes Trailhead. I'm gonna attempt Gander Peak via Tourist Creek, via the Green River Lakes Trailhead here. I'm gonna try to walk you through the steps. I've only seen about three videos on this exact same hike, so I'm gonna try to give you a little more detailed step-by-step -step and some help with gear and instructions along the way. Speaking of gear, Let's flip here. I'll show you some of the gear I'm working with here. We have my twin skin socks. These are good for preventing blisters. Satellite phone for emergencies just in case. Trekking poles. I'm going to go light on water with two water bottles so I can refill more often. My Hoka One One hikers. I got my Osprey pack. Got an ice axe and crampons. All right, I'll keep you updated along the way. Okay, quick overview of the bag before we go here. Poles, hat. My bear spray. Got the ice axe, crampons, sandals. This is my camp seat. Tent. Looking tidy. Off we go. Okay. Crossing the bridge here near the trailhead. Beautiful green river here. It's about 10 o'clock. Just starting off. We'll see how we go. Okay, two miles in. No one really prepares you for how long that first lake is. But man, it pays off. Such a beautiful view. Let's keep going. One of my favorite bridges I put in a while back. It's made it really nice coming across it. Okay, three miles in. You reach a bridge. Had to some decisions where to go. Stay to Three Forks Park. But we'll take a diversion and show you this beautiful bridge, this beautiful view. It's awesome. There's some awesome trails up that way that we've done before. Three point five miles and we've reached the upper Green River Lake. Look at that. Oh, holy cow. This place is beautiful. Okay. Five and a quarter miles in. Finish the top lake. You're greeted with a nice stroll along the Green River here. A nice meadow. And this awesome mudslide that I swear grows every year. Okay, seven miles in, get closer to square top, start narrowing down through the gorge there, start hiking right next to it, it's pretty awesome, Ooh, time for a break and a snack. It's 
just got through the labyrinth stream crossings. There's plenty of logs to cross on. Just gotta pick your poison. Logs with dirt on them means more people cross them. Moving on. Alright, hiking next to Square Top. Nice beautiful waterfall over there. <sighs> Getting closer to base camp. Made it to the bridge. Woo. Only a short matter of time now. Oh. Tree fall is bad. Making really slow progress. Blocking the trail. Left, right, and center. We'll get there. I am 11.3 miles in. Well, after 12.72 miles, we made it. Three Forks Park. Holy crap. It was not easy. Especially without tree fall. Target tomorrow, Tourist Creek. Ooh. All right now, just gotta get across the river. Dry off before sun goes down. Crystal clear, this water is. <sighs> okay, set up camp right over there. And those rocks. Saw some people hiking up. Crazies. Already late. It is beautiful. Holy cow, it is beautiful. Okay, at this point, just to give you an overview, I had drove from Salt Lake City up to the trailhead. It's about a five hour drive. Then from the trailhead up to Three Forks Park, that is a six hour hike, about 13 miles, and about a 1300 feet elevation gain. Okay, summit day, here we are. Let's get to it, here's the pack. It's the Ultimate Direction FKT. Try to cram as much crap in there as possible. No poles because it's all bouldering, man. You don't want poles. First light, let's go. I'll update you from. Up there. It's a better view. About a half hour in. You see my tent right there. <laughs> oh, coming up these uh, 
baby aspens is the way to go for sure they create nice handholds to grab and pull yourself up i don't see any better way up this thing it's definitely the way to go okay made it up to this big dead tree it's a great marker to aim for coming up right here is a great place to come up about just over a half mile in 45 minutes of pure lunges if you're wondering if these rocks move yes they all move it's like walking on quicksand just make sure you step on top of the rocks do not pull rocks towards you Okay, mile in, about an hour, mile an hour, so slow. You turn this corner here, up right next to the mountain, trying to stay on this grass. You can see, it just sucks. Yeah, I'll just kind of traverse that, see how it goes. But I'm liking staying high. That way I can just traverse that gnarly section there. Whew. What a workout. Finally, turning the corner. Seeing sunlight. This bouldering sucks. There's the lake. On my way. All the rocks move, let me tell you that. I'm sure there's a, any good way through this shit. But we're making it slowly but surely. Two hours in, mercifully, over the boulders. At the lake, real pretty. I can see why people would want to camp up here, but never. Never thinking about dragging my whole pack up that. No thanks. Time to get some water and refuel. Okay, about three miles. Halfway up. A little side up to the crossover lake. Interesting note. Down at the lake, if you stay left, there's basically a trail. You have to come up higher across the river in the, these rocks but <coughs> it's better than bouldering Woo, another update at the top it's pretty up here though a lot of little streams <laughs> there wasn't even a, a little campsite down there <coughs> but it looks like Humans weren't the only one to use it. Saw a bunch of bones nearby. Three and a half miles in, made it to the lake under these Desolation Peak. Whoo! Bugs up here. Something of a plague. They are pretty fierce. So just pray for wind while you're up here. Holy cow. Okay. Thank goodness going around the lake wasn't too bad. I think I might, I was on the left side coming up. I think I might go the side closest to camp. Okay. Look who it is. There she is. Right. Wow. Oh. You know what? Wind is good. Keeps the bugs down. All right. So now, basically, he's got to come up a cliff down to the lake down there. And keep going. Four and a half miles in. Scott's Lake. Don't go down to Scott's Lake. Stay in the groove. 
this groove. Look at her. Look at Gannett. Come on, baby. What a beat down. Ooh. It's the top of Skinny Lake. Six miles in. Let's see how far I can get in a couple hours after that. Time to go back. There she is right there, mocking me. It's all good. Always next time. Got home about 45 minutes ago. That was not what I wanted to do. That sucked. Do not recommend that. If you want to try to attack Gannett, take your stuff up, stay overnight in Tourist Creek. This is so painful to hike. I can't even begin to explain. Coming back down is almost worse than going up. It is so bad. Never again, man. Don't do it. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Uh, while you watch these beautiful pictures, make sure to check out my photo gallery that I have. Um, and it's appreciated. If I ever had to do it again, uh, I would suggest definitely staying up, maybe even near Skinny Lake, staying there overnight, and attacking the peak the next day for sure this all in one day was obviously too much you can see here at the end uh, it was six miles to where I got to it was probably another couple miles up to the peak with another 2,000 feet of climb and it was just too much for me that day there's no way I could have made it in any uh, semblance of time to get back to my camp I thought I could do it all in one day. Maybe if uh, you're a superhuman, you can make it. I would love to see your guys' videos as well. Thanks, everyone.